Toronto is expensive. Toronto is not expensive. Toronto is expensive. Toronto is not expensive. Toronto is expensive. Toronto is not expensive. Hello, what are you doing? Well, I'm worried about the inflation that's going on, and I'm trying to figure out if Toronto is expensive or it's not expensive. There may be a smarter way. For that, you need to follow Be Kind. So, over the last four months, we have been tracking all of our expenses meticulously so that we can answer how much we spend as a couple, and we can answer this question for you. So, in this video, you'll find out how much we spend as a couple living in Toronto during this inflation time. And in the next video, you can see what steps do we take to save money. So, let's go. Hi, kinds. Welcome to our channel, Be Kind. So, my name is Kriti and that's my husband, Shrey. So, let me start by giving you our background details. We are a couple that moved to Toronto in Jan of 2023. We live in a one bedroom condo in Midtown Toronto. We don't have a kid and we don't own any personal vehicle. Also, we both have jobs with decent salaries in Toronto. And today we'll be talking about what are some of the expenses that we spend on a monthly basis as a couple living in Toronto during these times of inflation. We are shooting this video in July of 2023. So you'll have a latest idea as to how much money we spend on a monthly basis. But before I start, a quick disclaimer guys. So this is how we like to spend our money and this is our lifestyle. While your situation can be different and how you choose to your money is completely basis how your lifestyle is. So please don't judge us and please be kind. So before we come to the expenses, let me also share how we are tracking our expenses here in Toronto. So over the last four months, all of our expenses we have put in an Excel sheet and we review at the end of the month how much we have spent and how much we have got from our respective companies or other sources of income. So that exercise helps us not only track the transactions that happened, but also to in one place look at everything. So like in India, we used to get an OTP for every transaction on our phone. It doesn't happen here in Canada. Mm -hmm. So that exercise also helps us to look where all has our money gone. Mm -hmm. Because one time it happened with us that we took a delivery service called Instacart for a two week trial period. And I ended the trial, but still they charged me $118 for the full year. And then I called them and told them that, you know, I didn't authorize this transaction and they reversed the money back. So looking at your expenses at the end of every month will ensure that you not only save money, but also keep a track of where you are spending because what can't be measured can't be improved. So unless you start tracking your expenses, you will never be able to improve them. So guys, the major chunk of our expense is the rent of this condo. We pay around $24.65 every month for a one bedroom condo in Midtown Toronto. And while this rent may seem a lot, but we do get a lot of amenities within our condo building, which we utilize to the fullest. So there is a brilliant gym here, which we use almost six times every week. So we save on our costs of going to the gym. Also, there are features like a heated swimming pool, and this lounge where we are shooting this video. So this is not our house. Yeah. This is a party lounge in our condo, which we can book for free. So we utilize everything. And plus our condo is very close to the transit station. So it takes us only six, seven minutes to walk to the subway and it helps us save a lot of our travel costs. And if you haven't checked our condo tour yet, we will link it up somewhere so you can see what our condo is like. The rent is around 60% of our monthly expense. So guys, our rent of $24.65 also includes the heat that we get, but it doesn't include any of the other utilities. So the first one is your water bill or water utility, which ranges for us around $50 to $60 per month. Then you have your hydro or electricity, with, which also ranges around $60 to $80 per month for us. And thirdly is our phone bill. So we are on a Rogers plan, family plan, and both of us pay around $120 together monthly for our phone bill. Fourthly, we have our tenant insurance, which is around $27 monthly. And lastly is our internet bill, which is also through Rogers and we get unlimited GB of data. So that is around $96. The total of utilities comes around to be $368 per month. And that is around 11% of our monthly expense here in Toronto. And the utilities can also range up and low depending on what type of insurance you choose and how you spend your electricity so we will yeah. be coming up with another video on how to save costs very soon yeah we have some really great tips on that so make sure you watch that it's we are shooting that and it's coming up pretty soon and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yes so let's move to the next part of our monthly expense the third part is grocery so grocery is a major 
expense that we spend every month as a couple yeah. so i think our grocery ranges between 700 to 800 dollars per month because the rates have gone really high and we usually cook a lot of our meals at home so we like to shop for groceries we shop for groceries majorly from walmart it has great offers and it's one of the cheapest grocery store comparing to the other grocery stores we have in canada and while this expense may seem a lot about 750 dollars but that's also because firstly the rates have gone up a lot and secondly our choices are also that we prefer healthier options like we prefer to eat food in olive oil and prefer food which is slightly or on the healthier side so that also turns out to be little more expensive so if you want to shop around you may get cheaper options as well another part of why we shop from walmart because a it offers great online delivery so we don't have to go and walk and carry those groceries because it's very difficult if you don't have a car here secondly it has a great indian section so us being indians we need those indian groceries whether it's your masalas or your lentils so we get great variety in walmart and we shop from walmart for that reason as well so like in india we used to have the concept of mrp or maximum retail price where everything is the same price be it a local shop that you buy or from big bazaar but in canada the rates are different there are some retailers like loblaws or farm boy which charges expensive rates for the same item whereas other stores like walmart or costco will have them at a cheaper rate yeah and if you want to know more about the different varieties of stores that we have in canada we will link our old video where we specifically talk about the grocery stores here so please watch that we usually shop from walmart for the bulk items but if we have to go and get some quick groceries we have a metro downstairs which is easily accessible by walk metro compared to loblaws and farm boy is a cheaper store so that was all on our groceries our grocery bill comes up to around 762 dollars per month and that rounds about to be around 18% of our monthly expense in 2023 So another expense related to groceries is eating out. So while my wife here is the most amazing cook in the world, she can cook Indian, Chinese, Mexican, Italian and Thai. Yeah, and Thai as well. So she can cook a lot of these cuisines, but sometimes we get bored or sometimes when Kriti wants to relax, we order food from outside. We prefer a very healthy lifestyle and we like to cook most of our meals at home, but once in a week i feel like you know we should just explore some cafes or even eat out because you get bored or you want to get away from that routine food that you have been eating so we order once a week or either we have to go out with our friends or if we are on a trip we then tend to eat out so our eating in and eating out expense comes around to be 390 dollars which is around 9% of our monthly expense So guys the next expense is entertainment plus grooming so entertainment is all of our streaming platforms like Netflix Amazon Prime or when we go out to play like an arcade game or something that's what we have classified here and grooming what we do personally wait up we don't do grooming we actually do maintenance here <laughs> grooming is what we used to do back in india because there that's you used true. to have like great beauty parlors around and even your urban company that comes right at your door so i really miss that but here we don't groom we maintain ourselves so that we can avoid going to those grooming services here because they are very expensive yeah like i used to get my beard done back in india almost every week but here i have to do it on my own so you know you have to save money here because it's so expensive so yeah that's right we only maintain ourselves we don't groom yeah so you have to be really self reliant here you have to learn even how to groom yourself and maintain yourself really well so that's one part of living abroad but uh, coming back to our uh, numbers So our entertainment and grooming together comes around to be one seventy dollars per month, which is around five percent of our monthly expense. Guys, the next expense is travel because we live so close to the subway. So most of the time we are using public transport, and there are great bus routes also available around the city. And sometimes we use Uber, but for public transport we have our Presto card. So the Presto card here comes in two different categories. One is for one forty five dollars, that is there for unlimited. travel across your buses and your trains and the second one is you purchase the presto card for $30 and then you can reload it based on how much you want to travel and how much you want to reload so it on an average comes to about $120 per month that we spend on travel including both uber as well as public transport which is about 3 to 4% of our expense so by now you must be wondering how much do we really spend every month 
So the total comes around to be 4,300 every month for us living in Toronto as a couple. We have not included a lot of miscellaneous expenses here. You know, like in this month, we have to spend $200 to go get our driving lessons. Or the other month, there was an electrical appliance that we wanted. So that was $100. So we have not included those expenses because they are very variable. Yeah. And also, we did not include the shopping and trip that we take. So both of them varies from person to person. Shopping especially depends on how much you want to shop that month. Or if you're going for a trip, you might want to shop for that. So it depends. Basis every individual. But at the end of the day, we ensure that our total expenditure, including everything, remains only about 40 to 50 percent of our income that we get and we are not only saving money but we are also investing already so if you want to know more about how we are saving and investing please write in the comments we'll answer your question and we'll make a separate video as well so we really hope this video was helpful for you to understand the expenses in toronto in 2023 and thank you so much for watching and, and if you like this video please subscribe to our channel and thank you so much again bye bye, -bye.